Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Nolan N93 flip front helmet. The Nolan N93 is their entry level flip front helmet. The price for this helmet sits a little higher than most brands entry level helmets because it costs $229.99 in plain colours and $269.99 in designs like this driller colour scheme. But the quality of Nolan's helmets definitely justifies the price tag in my opinion as this is a cut above the normal entry level helmet. But let me just get one thing out of the way first. This helmet is not the N93, no it's the N90 three, as if it's the third version of the N90. It isn't the third version, it's the second. As first there was the N91, then the N92, and now the N93. Confused? So was I, and I think I still might be, but never mind. Thankfully, Nolan are better at making helmets than they are at giving them names. The N93 has a polycarbonate shell. It's not just any old polycarbonate though. Nolan use Lexan, a material that's normally reserved for visors and has very impressive impact resistance properties. That shell contributes to an overall weight on this helmet of 1,666 grams. That's as weighed on our scales and it's actually pretty good for this class of helmet as it's quite common for flip fronts at this sort of price to exceed 1,700 grams. Venting draws in air on top of the shell with this chunky sliding vent just here and an easy to use vent on the chin there. I tested this lid on a Suzuki V-Strom 650 XT, which has a big screen, so it was difficult to gauge the effectiveness of the venting, but standing up on the pegs every so often showed the vents brought through a reasonable amount of air. The chin bar mechanism on the N93 follows the tradition for Nolan's helmets. The lifting operation uses twin buttons to reduce the chances of accidental operation. Pushing the button here on the base of the chin bar exposes this main lever, which then releases the chin bar lock. It didn't take me long to get used to this motion and it soon became pretty much second nature to do that. Once the chin bar's up, you have the option to lock it in place using this sliding switch on the left-hand side. And then you can ride with the helmet in open face configuration. The N93 has been safety tested both as a full face helmet with the chin bar closed and as a full face with it open like this. Locking the chin bar up like it is here will make sure it can't slip back down partially and cover your eyes as you ride along, which would obviously be a situation that's best avoided. The visor on the N93 is pinlock protected. It's not supplied in the box, but that's because it's already fitted the helmet. So that's one less hassle to go through in your life. It's backed up by an internal sun visor and another real plus point about Nolan helmets is that they're usually protected against mist, which is also the case with this one. There are four stages for the main visor between fully open and fully closed with the option to lift it just off the lock at the bottom there for a very small opening to allow some air to flow through. Moving to the inside, the interiors of Nolan's helmets are always very pleasant and this one is no different to that. The comfort lining is very comfy and it's covered with a soft material that makes longer rides a pleasure. It's removable, it all comes out in one piece and it's also easy to get to the sections that sit at the temples if you need to trim some foam away to accommodate spectacle arms. Nolan have deliberately designed this helmet to make it easy for you to do that. The strap fastener is a micrometric buckle, but again, Nolan's version is a bit superior to the norm. You need to pull this red tab away and then open the main lever to release the strap, which makes things a little bit safer than the normal operation for these. There's a removable chin curtain too. Taking it out will increase airflow, but it will be at the cost of some extra noise. There aren't enough customer reviews on this helmet yet to really comment on the noise levels of this lid, but my personal experience on the V-Strom 650 I rode was that it's a little bit noisier than a regular non-flip helmet, but it's pretty much in common with other flip helmets and it never became a problem, although it's best to point out that I do always ride with earplugs in. Behind that liner, there are recesses in the impact liner that will house intercom speakers. This helmet is designed to incorporate Nolan's long-running Encom Bluetooth systems, but I can't see anything here to stop you fitting a universal intercom if that's what you prefer. As for safety approvals, this helmet meets ECE 2205 for road use. In common with the vast majority of flip helmets, it's not ACU approved for track riding, and it's too new to have been rated by the UK government's Sharp Impact Testing Program as we record this video. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the Nolan N90 
3 helmet. But if there is anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. And if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button to stay in touch with what's new in the world of motorcycle kit. Thanks for watching.